Fortnite Chapter 5 is officially here, and we got a new loop pool, vehicles, medallions, mechanics, so much more. Here is everything you need to know. As you land on the brand new island, make sure to check out Snooty Steps. There's wires connecting the buildings that secretly work as grind rails, but the real interest is in this mansion covered in armed guards. But what's so important that needs protecting in here? Well, fight your way past the bodyguards, and Peter Griffin will reveal himself. He has one of the funniest boss fights with him dancing mid-battle, but it's when you eliminate him, Peter does the greatest easy the rank Fortnite has ever added. Congratulations on earning Peter's mythic hammer shotgun and medallion, which is a golden token, which also serves as your key card to get into the vault. Once you've equipped this, you unlock shield siphon, and the more medallions you earn, the quicker the siphon. Now there is a catch. Anyone holding a medallion will have their location revealed on the map, and the circle gets smaller every single time you equip a new one. There's five bosses around the island, so basically you're collecting these like infinity stones. Now, of course, Peter's just one of many, but he's by far the coolest with his own skin in the battle pass. This collab has been a long Long time coming, and so another item you could equip is Brian Griffin, except he's a llama. Pretty freaky, but not as cool as the Peter Copter Glider. The map has also brought a huge POI that'll blow your mind. This is Reckless Railway, which is a train station at the very center of Chapter 5. Yeah, you heard me right, trains. But before I get to that, the POI itself is full of loot. You'll find a boss here named Valeria, which is a battle pass skin who's guarded by henchmen and turrets. Once you defeat her, you'll get the ridiculously overpowered SMG, which has a hollow 13 optic, a drum mag, vertical foregrip, and suppressor. If you're wondering how I know that, it's because weapons now show you what attachments they have equipped before you pick them up. It is part of the latest feature of Chapter 5, weapon mods. After all this time, we have finally got attachments in the game. You'll find these workbenches and vaults, letting you customize your guns in return for gold. You can change your sight, magazine, underbarrel, and regular barrel, and this lets you speed up your aim, increase ammo, or zoom in further. Maybe you don't want to customize them, and well, just look around the island. Most guns already have weapon mods equipped, depending on the rarity, but the base items are just as good. We have a new combo to play around with, the Hammer Pump and the Striker AR. It's just like the classic pump and scar, these are super accurate, and with the right mods, stronger than ever. Once you're all geared up, let's get back to trains, where Grand Station is the central area to find one. The train drives all the way around the map, taking almost 10 minutes minutes to complete the journey, and I totally recommend trying to get on this thing. Full of loot crates you can break open for a quick weapon, and if you make it to the front of the train, you can capture the entire thing. The whole carriage gets sprayed with graffiti and alerts everyone around you that someone is capturing the train. Not to mention, you get a nice amount of loot. And that's not the only way to get around, there's also brand new vehicles to drive on the island. You can find a ton of SUVs parked up, and they're called the Grander Trail Smasher. Obviously it's based on a G-Wagon in real life, but I guess Fortnite can't collab with everyone. They're really useful for driving off-road, and they're licensed plate says society it kind of sounds like a meme but this is the name of the group that owns these cars and they're the guys who kidnap peely so like i said you've already heard of how you can customize weapons in chapter 5 but no one is talking about the new car feature that is in your locker right now there's a brand new design for the locker ui and people are struggling to get used to it while it looks simpler there's definitely mixed opinions here on the bright side you can see your cosmetic types more easily like emotes wraps lobby and then cars yeah, here you could actually choose a car to customize, throw on a decal and wheels to make it look good. But sure, this is intended for the upcoming rocket racing mode, but you could also use these in Battle Royale. Once you find a whiplash in game, just go into it and it'll immediately transform into your custom vehicle. How cool is that? Make sure to drive over to Grand Glacier though. This is a hotel located in the snowy mountains, which take up a pretty big chunk of the map. Here you'll find Montague, another boss with a medallion and a mythic to steal. Honestly, this AR is insanely overpowered. You could just laser people from a distance. But it wouldn't be a new chapter without some game-changing items, and Fortnite has delivered. You can now pick up a ballistic shield and defend yourself from enemy fire. In Zero Build, this is incredibly strong, and it comes with a fully automatic pistol to fight back, leaving enemies pretty much defenseless. It is joined by the Grapple Blade, a sword that pulls you anywhere you want. It's basically the ODM gear mixed with a grappler, and players are loving this. It's great for mobility and getting the drop on an enemy. Now there's a bigger taste of nostalgia hiding on the map. Just head to places like Pleasant Piazza or Ruin Reels. You can probably guess from the name, but these are classic POIs from over the years that have been remixed for Chapter 5. Ruin Reels is of course risky for Moji Fortnite, this time it has a historical twist, but hey, at least it's the play of movies here. Pleasant Piazza is the opposite of what you'd expect, there's almost no resemblance to the original Pleasant Park, except for the fact it's a town. I will admit, I love the style of this place, it'd be a shame if someone destroyed it with, oh, I don't know, cluster bombs? These are the new clingers in Chapter 5. Once you throw them down, they explode in multiple pieces, making sure that no one can escape its wrath. Well, unless you parkour away from it, there's brand new movement features this season, not just a return of hurdling, but a fresh mechanic, wall climbing. I'm 
come on, look how cool this is. It might save your life one day, so don't forget about it. And don't sleep on Lavish Lair, another POI in the snowy mountains, but this serves as the lobby background of chapter five, so you know it's important. It has a gigantic manor. There's even an astronomy tower here with a telescope inside. And I don't know about you guys, but I hope something comes out of this. In the back, you'll find Oscar the Tiger, a battle pass skin who has the same vibes as Meowsles. He drops a mythic auto shoddy, and of course, a medallion. Keep the collection coming. Except there is one outfit you won't find on the island, a Fortnite secret crossover that won't release until next year. Sounds far away, but he's on the battle pass screen right now. It's Solid Snake. This has got to be one of the most faithful crossover skins I've ever seen. He looks incredible, and he drops in 51 days. Now, if you want to feel like a true spy, there's one item from Last Resort that has made it into Chapter 5. A Shieldbreaker EMP has made a surprise return, which I don't think anyone expected, but it's definitely a welcome one. They also kept Shockwave grenades from the OG season, which a lot of people are glad about. You'll probably find the Big Bush Bomb lying around too, but it's one of the most useless items right now, so I don't expect to see anyone using it, unlike loot drones, which are also back. You might find them landing at Fencing Fields, which is a giant wine farm. There's great fields for days, and the compound is huge with the tower watching over the whole POI. But but beware of the guards because they won't let you get to the boss that easily. There's even a new consumable to enjoy, the Flow Berry. You can eat this very quickly, giving you an easy 10 shield and an anti-gravity effect. Trust me, they're everywhere, you won't struggle to find this. You'll need the anti-gravity if you want to reach Loot Island. It's back, but they've changed the location for Chapter 5. Before, this was based on the Loot Lake House, and now it's inspired by the new POIs around the map. Soon, it'll even turn into the Winterfest Cabin. Now, one of the craziest additions is how you could turn your entire locker into Lego. Over over 1,200 outfits have been converted into plastic bricks like the Seven, Midas, even Peely. When the mode officially releases on December 7th, you'll be able to play as them and even use emotes. Some people have managed to get the game loaded in the lobby to check out the cosmetics, and all I can say is it's absolutely hilarious. And just wait until you earn this season's victory umbrella. It's called the Rebel Umbrella, and while it's not the best, you should totally add it to your collection. I also got to talk about some big changes to consumables. Healing items like big pots and med kits now take under a second to activate, but they'll heal you you over time until you've got what you need. Oh, uh, by the way, did I mention you could finally heal up while walking? It's so much better if you're only using a med kit for 20 health, but if you try to cancel it, the item is completely discarded. Some people are happy about this, others not so much. Let me know how you feel about it in the comments. And that's not the only change you could expect to see, because in the coming weeks, we're going to find a lot more items in game. From Rift to Goes to Crash Pad Juniors, there's so many fan favorites set to arrive soon. Not to mention Winterfest, which is going to be packed full of things like the Icy Grappler, Sneaky Snowman, and the the Snowball Launcher. Speaking of gifts, if you're an owner of the Siren skin, you can log in today to claim the Free Society variant. Honestly, loving this design, it might be your best one yet. Stashed also got the same edit style, now with a red tracksuit and golden stripes. If you want to kit out your entire locker for these brand new styles, you're in luck, because Epic have granted us 22 extra preset slots. We've been stuck with 100 for years now, and fashion lovers are over the moon at the increase. But sadly, there's a downside. Your skin, emotes, wraps, and banners are now separated, so you gotta change four presets to get a full loadout. Now, we've also seen the return of a beloved item that has been missing for three seasons. When Wilds released, bounty boards were replaced with job boards. Nobody really used them, and bounties were so much fun, so now they are back in Chapter 5. Get ready to be hunted. That is everything new. Please support us in the item shop by using code T5G if you buy the Battle Pass. It's been Tommy. Keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.